Hi guys, uh, Terry here. Um, welcome to my new series, 10 Minutes to Brilliance. Could you guys please hit like and subscribe if you like the work that I do, right? So in this short video, we're going to look at some questions based on functions, right? So this is a typical examination question. So we have a function defined as f of x is equal to 2x plus 5. And in the first part, we want to figure out what is f of 0, right? So in a case like this, what you will do is simply write down what the function is. So in this case, we have f of x, right, is equal to 2x plus 5. And you want to figure out f of 0. All we're going to do, we're going to substitute 0 into this function here. So anywhere we see x, we're going to put 0. So this is going to be 2 by 0 plus 5. So this is going to be 2 by 0 is 0 plus 5. And we're going to get 5 as our answer. Right? So simple question. Part B now, we want to work out f of 2. Same concept applies. So all we're going to do, we're going to substitute x is equal to 2 into our function. So in this case, it's going to be 2 multiplied by 2 plus 5. And in this case, you're going to get 4 plus 5. And this is going to give me 9. Right? So that is the answer for part B. And the last part, we want to work out f of minus 1. Right? And one thing that you should pay attention to, especially with negative numbers, you need to be very careful here. Right? So this is going to be 2 by x. So it's going to be 2 by minus 1 plus 5. So 2 by minus 1 is going to give you minus 2 right plus 5 and you're gonna get 3 as the answer right so simple examination question let's try our next one so we have g of x is equal to x squared minus 1 so that's our function so g of x is equal to x squared minus 1 and we want to work out right we want to work out in this case here let me just make a slight change here. So this should have been G. All right, so we want to work out G of 0. So we're going to substitute. So this is going to be G of 0. So this is going to be 0 squared, right? Minus 1. So this is going to be 0 minus 1. So the answer is going to be minus 1, right? So that's G of 0. That's the answer for part A. For this next one here, we want to work out g of 3. So we're going to substitute. So g of 3 is equal to, um, it's going to be 3 squared minus 1. Now 3 squared means 3 multiplied by 3, which will give us 9. So 9 minus 1, and we're going to get 8. So that takes care of part B. Part C, now we want g of minus 1. So g of minus 1 is going to be minus 1 squared right uh, minus 1 so this case is going to be minus 1 squared is going to give me positive 1 minus 1 and you're going to get 0 as your answer right so this is pretty straightforward another kind of question that you could get is you could be given a function like this h of x is equal to 5x plus 1 over x minus 2 and the question says state the value of x for which a function is undefined now for a function to be undefined, right, the denominator here cannot be equal to zero, right? So for a function to be undefined, the denominator cannot be equal to zero. So therefore, all we need to do is to put the denominator equal to zero, right? So x minus 2 is equal to zero, so x is equal to 2. So this here is our answer. I cannot plug 2 into this function. Because if I plug 2 into this, I'm going to end up with a 0 at the bottom here, right? So any number divided by 0, it is going to be undefined, right? It's going to be undefined, right? So the answer is 2 here. x is equal to 2. Let's try next one. So I have a function g of x here, right? And we want to find the value, state the value of x for which the function is undefined. So again, your denominator here cannot be equal to 0. So what we're going to do, we're going to say 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So 2x is equal to 1, and therefore x is equal to a half. 
right so like i said guys please remember to hit like and subscribe